the 35 best books of 2020 to add to your reading list as soon as possible. There's just nothing more relaxing than cozying up with a good book. Whether you're the kind of person who loves to hold a hard copy of their favorite reads in their hands, an e-reader type so you can get literary on the go, or you prefer listening to audiobooks so you can devour your newest obsession while commuting or cleaning, the best books of 2020 are bound to make your TBR list. This year, some of our Ride or Die writers, We See You, Sue Monk Kid, have come out with new reads to love, while some debut authors are already making a big splash with their first books. A handful of those have already been optioned for film or TV rights, here's looking at you, Long Bright River. With more sure to come. Get ready to fall in love with the most anticipated books in memoir, romance, historical fiction, mystery and thriller, literary fiction, and even some hard-to-categorize stories that will set your heart on fire. So crack that spine, grab a cup of something comforting, and get ready to be transported to another life for a while. And when you're done, pass it on. The only thing better than losing yourself in a great story is sharing that experience with a friend. 1. Long Bright River. A novel. In a part of Philadelphia hit hard by the opioid crisis, estranged sisters Casey and Mickey lead very different lives. Casey struggles with addiction, while Mickey is a beat cop. When Casey disappears around the same time a string of murders takes place, Mickey becomes obsessed with finding the killer and her sister before it's too late. 2. Topics of conversation. A novel. We spend so much of our lives in conversation with others, and those conversations create our stories. This debut novel explores that idea, written almost entirely in conversations between women over 20 years of the narrator's life. It sizzles with anger, indignation, and wit, highlighting what can emerge when women start talking. 3. Darling Rose Gold. When Patty Watts goes to prison for slowly poisoning her daughter Rose Gold, the sheltered 18-year-old has to learn how to navigate the world alone. Upon her release five years later, Patty comes to live with her daughter and expects to fall right back in line as her little girl's keeper. But Rose Gold has other, darker plans. 4. Recollections of My Non-Existence. A memoir. This powerful memoir reveals how Solnit's coming of age as a journalist and a woman in 1980 San Francisco shaped her as a writer and a feminist. She grapples with sexual harassment, poverty, trauma, and women's exclusion from the cultural conversation, while discovering punk rock in the LGBTQ community as safe havens. Her words have long empowered people who feel voiceless, and her latest book is no exception. 5. A Long Petal of the Sea. A novel. Pregnant widow Razer and Victor Dalmo, the brother of her deceased love, marry in the aftermath of the fascist takeover in 1930 Spain, in order to flee on a ship chartered by the poet Pablo Neruda. Along with the other refugees, they start over in Chile as Europe erupts in war, and find a way to embrace their new life and each other in exile. 